We've seen some more evidence of Perth's ice crisis today. Detectives swooped on a clad lab this morning, the second this week. It came as notorious criminal Glenn Salmon was jailed for manufacturing meth. It's dangerous but not uncommon, a suburban home transformed into a meth-making factory. Today's raid in Bayswater, just the latest of dozens by WA police in recent months. It is the second one uh, that we've come across this week. In this case, there was only one adult male at the address, uh, there's no children. But there was a child at the last lab, discovered three days ago, just a few kilometres away in Belmont. The 36-year-old man who lives in this house was home alone when detectives raided it this morning. He now faces a maximum penalty of 25 years behind bars. In the last two months, over 340 kilograms of meth has been seized in WA and a new squad is formed tasked to tackle our meth crisis by bringing down producers and dealers. We find them anywhere from uh, way down south in Esperance all the way up to Broome and especially in the metropolitan area. For manufacturing methamphetamine, notorious criminal Glenn Salmon has just been jailed. He shot a police officer before also shooting himself in the 90s. Recently freed, he'd been making the drug at his house and his mother's. This will be the 47-year-old's eighth jail sentence. He could be free again in two years. Alice Pooley, Nine News.